what is up youtube rain back again with another video now i'm just going to be going over a previous game that i had played and this guy in the comments actually gave me this great idea to instead of giving my advice during the game give my advice after the game so what we're gonna do is go to my previous matches played by the way guys i'm almost at a thousand subscribers it would mean so much to me if i could hit this i've been doing youtube for quite a while and i've never hit this record so please it would mean a lot to me if you guys could subscribe anyway back to the video my history yeah it's okay but i've been having a horrible weekend uh these games are terrible um some of these games are good though but we're gonna focus on this mirage game right here so as you can see i went 28 and 19 uh second highest fragger in the game with the highest score mostly because i've been planting the bomb but um we were losing very heavily in the uh first half so we had one two three four five six seven rounds <clears throat> against eight in the uh first half and as you can see i was doing terrible so we're just gonna go whack and the uh watch the um the gameplay and you can rank up from a tie so if you tie up the game it's still worth you know it's definitely still worth it now, i do recommend if you guys are new to csgo you do download this simple radar you can find it online just google simple radar online so it just shows you all the call outs on the map so as you can see it's top mid catwalk mid ct you know things like that so so first round i either buy armor or i go with a nade of the smoke which is pretty good this guy went for a kit which is very nice so just in case we need to defuse the bomb we have the kit ready so here I am now. The t the N the T's are going to be. I'm on B by myself. This is probably why we lost the first round. So I saw him there, smoke uh, through a nade. But there's my team coming in now. I got absolutely smoked. So teams come in pretty late to rotate. Uh, even though I did make the call pretty early. You want to avoid going below 2,000 if you lose the round on ct and you don't get many kills just save it's not worth it you forcing up you got half some people forcing you got some people not buying against uh ak's and mac 10s they're just gonna get farming money mac 10s you get the most kill bonus out of um a kill which is like plus 600 whereas a normal kill with like an ak is plus 300 so you're gonna want to just try and save here I ended up forcing up because I saw that the team was forcing, so I just went with a 5.7 and uh, some armor. So buy a 5.7 and we have 3A, which is pretty good with stacking. We don't really have good economy. So I'm just watching mid, see if anyone peaks, looking under. My teammate says that there's some uh, movement on A, so I start to push back. I get this kill here. Get the Mac 10. And the team did say that the bomb was A ramp, so we're just trying to hold it off here. So we got that kill. We do have the bomb. It's a 5v1. So in this case, it was a good a decision to force here because we did end up winning the round. So going into this round, my teammate did piss me off uh, for what he does right here. He Zeused me for no reason. Uh, that kind of pissed me off. I was at 57 health. Um, I'm not gonna say it lost us the round, but uh, you know, I don't see anyone. I'm just holding my nade. Maybe there's someone in there. My teammate's not really giving out any calls, so I don't want to waste my nades here. I'm hearing some calls around mid. So we're coming in for the rotate. And there we go, we won the round. And I did get a nice chunk of money from that. Plus a Galil. So pretty good. Yeah, I got absolutely dis demolished here. So this guy's rotated from behind. I did let my team know, but Honestly, it was just, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know, it's miscommunication, it's not paying attention. 
So after that round, round after round, we just kept losing. So if you just have a look at our money real quick here, um, important lesson. Uh, Zippy doesn't have enough to buy. I don't have enough to buy. Torres doesn't have enough to buy and Clown doesn't have enough to buy. Only Eulogy can buy here. Um, so it's best if we do like a half buy, buy down to 2K, um, just buy like a Deagle or buy like some light armor and a heavier pistol like a 5.7 or a CZ, whatever you use. Um, and that would have been fine. But uh, as you can see here, Clown buys, Taurus buys. He doesn't, Taurus doesn't even have armor here. Zippy's AFK, Eulage is AFK. So going into this game, it, I was triggered. I was blaming my teammates. I was like, dude, these guys are AFK. They're forcing rounds that they don't need to force. Um, there's just no communication. We're not half buying. We're not like, where's all the team play? So now if you notice in this round, I had plenty of money to buy. Uh, so does everybody else except for Torres because he forced last round um, So that's why it's important to not go below like a certain amount of money same with clown uh, he can buy armor and 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 some nades, but he doesn't have full armor so That's kind of you know, even though you probably will get instant headshot with a um, AK It's still important to have a head armor because if you get war banged you can tank a bit of damage there but this round is very important so we do have a full buy uh, more or less but if you notice we have one afk of course two going a and two going b so now you'll notice the bomb comes to apartments we have two one person naded short or somewhere they were nading over here I'm watching apartments. My teammates watching apartments. Nobody's watching mid or short. So then here's me. Here's me watching apartments. And I'm like, wait, nobody's watching short. Let me, uh, dead. I'm dead. I'm already dead. I ain't even got time to recoup. That's why it's important to have a very balanced. If they're going to go three a have one person watch short or connector, make the call guys, they smoked it. Maybe they're up short. Just communicate with your team. In this game, nobody was communicating. It was terrible. So now we have a good formation. We have two on A. I just come here to support a teammate. Just in case he, he gets overrun by mid. Because they, they were going mid quite a lot. So I just wanted to make sure we're all good. I'm just holding connector here. Just make sure they don't push. There's one guy lurking on B. He's trying to push through market here. I'm just holding connector. I don't need to push. I don't need to rush. There's one. Now I'm wary that because nobody was on B. Maybe there's some guy lurking. So I'm just looking here. I somehow got that kill. <laughs> Terrible aim. Last guy's yeah, right there. And I got him. So one of our teammates did leave for some reason. Don't know why. Didn't say. Uh, they just left. So we are down. A teammate. Uh, for the rest of the game and this is also why I was blaming my team. I was like, bro, you just left the game It's a 4v5 now like, you know, you are already like not communicating with us and just letting us know what's going on So they're having a gev here. I'm just gonna small that off and try to get out of there And get someone on B because nobody was on B. So I'm just kind of worried that guy did shoot it, but I was unaware of where he was. Was he was he short? Because I did smoke off, weren't looking. I heard footsteps, so I decided to push up, but he just one dig the hell out of me and smoked me. I did get traded though, which is pretty good. So now it's a 2v2. If we look in the chat, they were just spamming, saying some weird stuff, um, you know, saying that we're walling and whatnot. Definitely was not. So here we are pushing to B. That guy's very low. I know that my teammate tagged him up. So I'm just I just don't want to push out too much here. My team I got two kills. So now it's 2v1. We know the last guy's on B, so I'm just gonna take the bomb to A here. It's gonna go very quick. I don't wanna to be too obvious uh through connector, I don't want him to see me there. So I'm here planting the bomb. My teammate's lurking. He's watching here. 
So I go, uh, I'm going to go watch CT. He gets smoked. It's a 1v1. So I just don't need to push. He's looking around. He has no idea where I am. He has no clue. He's looking around. He's like, alright, I'm either Palace or CT. I don't peek. I know it's a fake. And uh, I get him done. Get him gone. So we win the pistol around there. Pretty good. So now we can buy. We got the plan and we got the win round. It's an easy round for us. We can fall by. Um, maybe one person got SMG here. Um, but we don't know if they're going to force or not. So we're unaware. And yeah, so the guy goes with the Galil. Not bad. Could also go AK, but it's okay. So I'll throw the bomb into Cubby there. I just don't want to die mid with the bomb. Just in case I get one dig or something. I got two kills, got the guy window. So it's 2v2. Um, my teammate's mid. I get the bomb. I'm like, all right, we need to push somewhere. So I did make a bit of noise by while reloading there. So I'm just gonna hold this angle. Caught him slipping. <coughs> I was unaware that the last, the other guy went to B, so here I am, going to B, I'm like, oh yeah, this is pretty safe. I get smoked. So it's a 1v1, my teammate is on 1 HP. It was very unlucky. I probably should have waited for my teammate to come push up with me, but unlucky I didn't know that the guy was on, the guy was on B. And we do end up losing that round, second round. Kind of my fault. I did get three kills there, but I, I did what I could. But I'm the hero AK here. I just don't... I really don't want to die. The enemy the teammates shot the bomb. Um, You know, I just get the bomb. And I don't want to push here. I don't want to be too obvious. It's my teammates shot to get as many kills as they can. Two die. Got one underpass. I get that kill there. I'm like, right, I'm going to push this. There's no way that somebody else is. I'm taking a big risk here. It's a 2v1 now. So I see that guy in there. Just patience. I don't need to push. I don't need to make anything, do anything crazy. I just need to hold this angle. I get that kill. I'm like, okay, they probably sent 1B, 1 sit on A. They didn't know really where I was. So I get that plant. I'm just going to hold here. For some reason, I didn't do as much damage as I thought I did. And I ended up losing the round. Unfortunate. I did try. Um, and again, they're just spamming in the chat. Nice aim rain. I hope, you know, it's just saying some weird things. Uh, it's saying that he's reported me for info from cheaters. Where I don't know what he's talking about. A guy throws an end. I thought it was a flash for some reason. I look away. Where are my bullets going? None of my bullets, one of my bullets hit him. One. Just one bullet. There's me, still top mid. Only a deagle, but it's a 2v3. It's still possible. We've already been down one. So here I am, I pick up this AK. So I don't know where they are. I'm just keeping look behind. They might push us, they have the advantage. So I'm just going to hold an angle here. I don't want to push anything. I don't want to be too crazy. I think he made the course on where he's coming short. So I look here. Got that kill. I heard one scope connector. So I was letting my teammate know. Just hold connector real quick. I'll hold window. And I looked away for a second. He's chasing him down. Unlucky, you get smoked. So we're down 8-14. 8-14. Two more rounds and we're out of this game. And it's a straight loss. What do I do? I buy an AK. Two teammates at AFK. I don't care. I smoke top mid. I drop the bomb. And I'm running up. 
Short smokes, they can't see me. I had a bit of doubt in my smoke though. I was like, did it actually land? I get flashed. I'm hiding. I'm scared. Did they push me? I don't know. I'm unaware that I have four ops right now. I send a Mali. I saw him jump down. He's Spider-Man. I get that kill and I get traded very easily. I've, we have a teammate on A. He gets tagged with a, a scout. This guy's going to be the whole hero play. It's a, it's a 3v2. Who would have thought? We got one kill. It's a 1v3. He's getting tagged in the head. He doesn't know what's going on. They're coming from both ends. They're coming from both ends. What's going on? And he's gone. He's gone. The team locked in. The team clutched up for the last, for, 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 for the one most important round. So here we go, AK again. I'm not buying an AWP. After I got after I got trolled by that PP buys, and I said, "Hey, not me, not happening again." I lock in. Let's go. I try this smoke. I have no idea where it landed. Hopefully, it did land somewhere short. Oh, it did land short. Nice. Wait, no, it didn't. It landed somewhere mid. Anyway, so we're already down one. It's a 3v, 3v5 now. Nice, I got that kill. Pretty sure this is when that guy said some weird shit in the chat. All good. One shot. I don't want to send out Molly there. He can't behind the hide, hide behind the pillar now. I take him out. It's a 3v2 already. It's a 3v1. I'm planting the bomb. I got two important kills there. Just open up the B site. So I'm just gonna hide here. Oh yeah, there's a guy in the chat saying some weird stuff. All right, window, jungle. I'm just holding this, I have no idea where he is. In the end, he doesn't push. So we ended up uh, winning that round. Yeah, look what this guy says in the chat. <clears throat> so weird. I'm just gonna look mid here. Get our Molly in there. I miss my Molly. Shocking. Perfectly timed nade. Look at that. I'm pretty sure he thought I was cheating. Got him. Nice. Where's this guy looking? Where was that guy looking actually? I have no idea. Nice, good shot. Okay, last guy in A. What do we do here? We go to B, we have the bomb, we go B. But the guy got the kill anyway, very nice. Very, very nice. <clears throat> it kind of did look like I was walling there. I just, you know, game sense, I just was like, hmm, anticipate. Maybe this guy's gonna push short. There was one window, there has to be one short, surely. So I'm always worried that someone's gonna come from behind. Always worried. In this case, I looked. I got timing. I got timing, actually. Oh, he's shooting up. He's shooting up. Get out of here. Okay. 2v2. They don't have guns. <laughs> terrible, terrible uh, flash. Kind of wasted my nade there, to be honest. So, teammates planting B. I think I was tending to plant. I was like, yo, just plant the bomb. He gets this kill anyway. Nice. He gets this kill. He's like, all right, the site's definitely clear now. I can't push us. He plants the bomb. So because two guys did push behind me, I'm like, I'm almost confident that nobody's going to come from apps now. So I'm just going to hold here. And I got that kill. Pretty nice. So now we're only two rounds behind. Only two rounds behind. We can tie this up, I believe. I believe we can tie this game up. So, teammate locks in. We're all locking. Let's go. Throw that flash over there. Flash from my teammate. Boom, he gets a kill. Very nice, Zippy. He gets smoked. Clown, you should have traded him. Why didn't you trade him? He's so out in the open. He saw the barrel. He shot a bit too early. Nice, gets a kill. 
Here's me, I'm pushing. Yulu just pushing. The teammate, the, the, the enemies are getting angry because uh, we're getting kills. Yulu G kills him. Nice. It's a 3v1. This round's basically in the bag. Let's fast forward this. Anyway, so last round. What are we going to do? We have a full buy. It's looking good. We won the last couple of rounds. So I'll just do what we did last round. For the flash. Hopefully my teammate can get a kill. He gets smoked. But our other teammate got another kill, so it's okay. So I'm just going to hold here. Don't need to push. Play patient. They're so impatient, they're going to push me. I know they're going to push me. I can hear the footsteps. They're running. They're running hard. I get that kill. I get this next kill. What is that guy doing? Send him to the gulag. We got Zippy pushing up short. He knows. He knows I got a bomb and B. I'll send that Molly in there. And it is GG's. Good game. Amazing game. What a good comeback. 4v5. They should have won that easily. How did they not win? But yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, honestly, this is a lesson. Don't always blame your teammates. You can make a comeback. Lock in. Play well. Don't push. Play patiently. When you're down a teammate, there's more of a chance that they're going to push you. Just hold the angles. Sit there. Even if you're playing uh, T side, sit. Hold. Patient. Sit top mid. Sit in apartments. Sit in palace. They're going to push you because they're so impatient. They're like, bro, it's a 4v5. Easy. Especially at the middle ranks like MG, Golden Over. They're going to push you. They're good. They're definitely going to push you. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe subscribe and uh yeah peace